Hello. All right. I wanted to show you how to do some more of the advanced tutorials. If you haven't done the starters yet, please look up that video. I'll try to link it below on YouTube. But once you're logged into Tinkercad, tinkercad.com, you log in with your Google account or sign up for an account. I do have a video on how to do that. Then you're going to click on learn. You're going to click on instead of starters, that's where you're going to start. I have a video walking through all those. Go to lessons and to for this video, I'm going to walk you through Minecraft party glasses. There are a bunch of other options. I might make some other videos on them, maybe if I get time. But for sure, I'm going to walk you through Minecraft party glasses. So you click on it. Um, yours won't say restart project. I'm going to restart it so it's brand new. And then what you'll do is, this is a little confusing. You just click the number here, okay? Once your, your mouse is over it, you can click start. Click on it, and it's going to open up the lesson. The tutorial and i'm going to full screen this so nothing else is in our way all right maybe i won't all right so in this lesson you will learn to design a cool pair of party glasses now obviously designing these glasses you may not care a lot about designing these glasses but what it's doing is it's giving you the skills you need to make the things that you want to make all right so this will give you a lot of cool skills maybe you don't really care about the glasses themselves but you'll learn a lot so then you can make the things you want Okay, so we click next. Start by dragging the box shape to the work plane. So they want it here. I just drag it in. And it doesn't necessarily have to be right there, but it says you can find the box shape in the panel on the right side of the screen. And then I hit next. Scale it to a, a scale it smaller to a height of five millimeters tall and size it to six by six. So this is the easiest way we can do it. We can rotate the view. If you don't know how to rotate the view, do those starters. Instead of just clicking and dragging, we can just click, and this is the height, so I want it five millimeters. So I type in five, so I click this, I type five, I press enter. Then we want it six by six, so I can click the corner, which shows me the two dimensions. I say six, I press the tab button. Tab is right above caps lock on most keyboards. You hit tab, and that switches you over to the other one. You press six and press enter. Now it's the right size, okay? All right, you can adjust the snap grid located in the lower right corner of the editor from one to 0.5. So they want us to change this to 0.5. If you can't see this, remember you need to zoom out. So you click here and press minus. All right, then we hit next. Now drag the box to the area outlined in orange. Copy and paste the box to fill in the rest of the outlined area. And this, this can take some time, but um, so I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, I'm going to move over. Now, me, I'm using the center mouse button. You might be be able to press Alt. Let me try that. Nope, uh, not Control. Shift. I'm not sure. You have a mouse, you can move around a lot easier. Um, I'll try to find that for you. So all they want you to do is put it where those boxes are. So you can copy and paste. You can copy it here. Oh, here's duplicate and repeat. Or there's copy. Let's try this one. Cool. Well, I'm just using the arrow button actually uh, to move it around. And let's see if I can do that again. Oh, look at that. Cool. It just sets them up. Now they're almost right. Now, the reason why they did that was because I did the duplicate and repeat. Um, and if I had made that original one perfect, it probably would have worked perfectly. Awesome. We got that aligned. Next, can we hit next. Scale it to 24 millimeters long to fill the area outlined in orange. So once again, we can click here, we can click this little black, remember that's how we change this, right? And they want it 24. So we just type 24, press enter. You could click and drag and try to make it perfect, but that one's easy. We hit next. Then they want us to copy and paste. So we take this, I'm going to, I can click up here or I press control C. And then to paste, you can click here or press Control V. Now, sometimes that overlaps directly over it. You can just click and drag it, okay? I've got that. I'll put it right over it. If you can't get it perfectly, use the arrows on your keyboard, all right? Then I'm going to press Control V again. Move it over here. If you can't get it perfect, use the arrows on your keyboard. Control V again. If this gets in your way, you can just click the up arrow, all right? All right, let me bring that one down. Perfect. Now we hit next. Let's fill in the remaining outlined areas. All right. So we got lots of boxes to do. There could be shortcuts. Like I'm thinking 
fill some of these. Let's see if it works. I'm highlighting all this by pressing shift and clicking. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it. Now, there is something that you didn't learn in the earlier one. We can actually click here and this mirrors it. And if I mirror it vertically, I guess vertically because of my view. Now what I have is I can actually just duplicate it perfectly. All right. So that one's pretty cool. So now I can copy that. I can paste it. I want to make it here. So all I have to do is mirror it over the x-axis. Now use my arrows to line it up perfectly. You should not have to do these little boxes individually. Okay, please don't do that. And then this last one, I'll highlight these. As I'm doing this, I'm realizing I could have saved some time on other steps, but that's okay. So then we click here. We're going to mirror it vertically from the view we're at and then use our arrows to move it into place. Perfect. Now we need to create these. So I'm going to take a box, copy and paste, drag that. See if that happens and we make a mistake, just press back or control Z. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom in better so I don't mess that up again. Click it. I'll drag it over. Now remember, I can. Let's see what happens when I do duplicate and repeat. So I'm going to duplicate and repeat. Now I'm going to move that with my arrows. Arrows are always the easiest when you're moving it, not very far. And say duplicate and repeat. And look at that, filled it up. Now we can select these again. Control, uh, I'm holding shift. I'm going to copy, control C, paste, control V. I look up here, actually, this will probably perfectly fit there. This is awesome. Then I need to control, uh, copy it, so control C, control V. You can also use these up here. And what I want to do is I want it to fill in those three, so I'm going to mirror it over the X axis and then use my arrows to move it into place. I'm going to then highlight these again, copy it, paste it, and this should perfectly fit here. Use your arrows if you can't get it aligned perfectly. We're almost done, which is awesome. Uh, if it stays orange, I wonder, I don't know why it stays orange in some spots. That's okay. All right. So then we can take that, copy, paste, move it into place. Some of these you're just going to have to do separately. I paste it again. Once you have something copied in the clipboard, you can paste it as many times as you want. Then we need to fill this box and this box. They look similar to these, but they're not. So I'm going to paste, take that box. I'm going to put it right here. And now what I can do is drag that. That was incorrect. So remember, we can click back or control Z. I'm going to click the black and I'm going to move it to the correct size. Now, I don't know the exact size, but they choose whole numbers. So I'd imagine this is supposed to be 18. And then we control, we, uh, control C, control V, copy and paste. We move this one. If you can't get it perfectly, use your arrows. And the last one we're left with is this box. I'm just going to copy and paste this. I'm going to move it up so it's sort of lined up right. And then I'm going to drag it over. Looks to me like I just filled that whole thing in. So let's see. I might have skipped a lot of steps. We'll see what they say. Okay, select all the objects. So I'm going to click and drag this entire thing. Okay. Group them together by clicking the group button. So I'm going to group them. It might take a little bit. It might take a while. Depending on your computer, that might take a while. I apologize if I was really close to the screen there. Uh, click next, and then we're done, and we did it. That should, should take you about that amount of time, maybe twice the amount of time I just took, just because you haven't done it before. But Control-C, Control-V for copy and paste, that is definitely your friend. And this duplicate, uh, and repeat. I hadn't seen that before. That's an awesome tool. Remember, uh, mirror is right here, and then your group is right here. So hopefully you did a wonderful job on that. This is cool. If you were at my school, or you could go to your local library, if they're open or when they open, they might have a 3D printer for you, and you could actually print these glasses. You could measure them to fit your face. I'll add a little bit to that. If I measured my face and the distance you know, between here and here was, I don't know, 10 inches, what I can do is I can change this grid to say inches instead. 
update the grid. And now I want this to be 10 inches wide. So what I can actually do is I can click here and I can say, I want it 10 inches wide. That sort of stretched it out. Um, it, I hope you get the the point. We could we could then fix the height and everything. And now, if we brought that to a three D printer that could print that size, it would actually be ten inches wide. So really, really cool stuff there. I'm going to undo that just so it's saved correctly on my profile. Um, and when you're done, if you click on Tinkercad again, say it says saving down at the bottom, and now that's going to be saved in your projects. Now, me, I have a lot of projects. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where it's saved, but uh, it will be saved in there. Okay, I I promise you it automatically saves. Uh, it's just not showing on my window, and maybe if I refresh it, it'll show up. But no worries, it always saves. It looks like I have a bunch of these already set up. So uh, let's check page number two. Yeah. I'm not sure. All right, but it'll stay for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you need help, please go back through the video, play it again, pause it, do exactly what I did or try to figure it out yourself. And that's the best way to learn, figuring it out for yourself. But if you need help, obviously watch the video. And then I'm here for you. Ask questions. Um, yeah, good luck. See ya.